And here we are live from Manchester for that last game of the day on uh, this track between Ireland and Australia. Beautiful game ahead. Um, I'm out shut the thread up. And I am Muffin Tumble and we are very happy to be here to help you visualize and see the final game of day one of the Roller Derby World Cup 2018 in Manchester. So here are the players who answered Ireland's call for this game for Team Ireland with number zero, Firo Ferry, number two, three, Green Halkuni, number two, four, Rolo Tomasi, number two, nine, Zoe Hayes, number three, 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 Darling, number four, one, four, Rusty Bullet, number four, two, Gemma Harvey, number four, five, O'Flaty, number four, nine, zero, Carlton, number seven, Sarah Devine, number seven, four, Sophia Kensaniva, number seven, 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 Plant, number eight, three, Snowden, number nine, three, Ellen Clark, and Ireland's team captain, with number three, Shoburn Murphy. And skating in yellow, Team Australia. Number 10, Giles. Number 11, Sarah Chambers. Number 111, Wheels McCoy. Number 130, Dyer Skates. Number 14, Christy Demons. Number 20, Lori Evans. She is also the captain today. Number 216, Moody. Number 2806, Danny Darko. Number 35, Burn. Number 358, Jana Nuku. Number 444, Scarlet Love. Number 66, Lauren Foote. Number 7, Gomez. Number 85, Bianca Sciarretta. And number 88, Tui Lyon. The, the, this game is going to be quite interesting to watch because the two, two teams had a different uh, previous games. Uh, Australia had a huge win over Norway, who scored only 10 points. And uh, Ireland lost against Netherlands by very few points, I believe, uh, three points. So, yeah, let's 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 be realistic. You have a, a difference of level dif between Australia and Ireland, but we know that the Irish never give up. They, this is the Irish spirit, and let's see what they're going to do, and what they are going to do against a uh, team Australia, who happens to be uh, many people's even favorites uh, for that World Cup. Oh yes, for sure. They're, they're very favored. They are missing, of course, Sarilson, who uh, we we're lucky to have on the Team USA. And then um, Lady Trample playing for New Zealand. So yep. they're losing two key players, but then they also have sk skaters from all over Australia. It sh should be very interesting. And, and you have many players who have just won the Hydra at the WFTA belonging to the RDL. So clearly it's it's going to be uh, it's going to be one of the favorites but from where i sit here at the analysis box i am just right in front of the irish supporters here and they are so loud in the sense you've got many irish people who just came especially for that game of course and then they have whiskey and guinness oh maybe maybe we don't know we don't <laughs> know just drink uh, responsibly as usual right and we are approaching the start of the game. It's going to be with number 11, Sarah Chambers, jamming for Team Australia. And uh, the jammer for Team Ireland is not ready yet, I think. Uh, from where I sit, I can only see four blockers. It's Sarah Chambers, you can see it on the screen. It, it's, it's a promising sight again. Oh, here it is. It's going to be... Number three, the captain, Sjöbön Murphy, who's going to jam for Ireland. Come the day, come the hour from this final game of the first day. Ten seconds to Derby. Don't forget to use the hashtag R, um, RDWC 2018 on Twitter to send your love and support. Uh, because we know that the players after the game really look at social media uh, to look for their fans. So hashtag RDWC 2018. Make it, make it trend. Make it trend on Twitter. I, I, I want this hashtag to be worldwide top trend by the end of the four, uh, the four days. It's I about to start. I believe it will trend. I mean, we've had a sold out crowd. This, the, yeah. the rafters are almost filled for this bout. This is really impressive that we are playing on the... Uh, S1helmet.co and here we are for Team Ireland, Team Australia, Ireland playing green, Australia playing yellow. For the moment, no lead jammer if, if, if Sarah Chambers is a bit ahead, takes on the inside and takes a lead jammer position for the first jam of that game. 
see Ubin Murphy still stuck in the pack on her initial pass. Sarah Chambers is approaching the pack for the first time with a small jump, gets on the outside, looks at uh, Subban Murphy to check where the player is. And it's five more points, five first points for Team Australia. Sarah Chambers on the second score trip right now, shouldering the way through the pack. Good resistance from the Irish wall. Look at the way Sarah Chambers is contained. Stephen Murphy still on her initial pass, stuck between turns two and three. Oh, it's good defending ball from Ireland. And Saub and Murphy almost hit it on the outside. Sarah Chambers is out. Five more points for Team Australia. Murphy is sent to the penalty box for cutting the track. Is the first power jam of the game for Team Australia. Yep, and Sarah Chambers' third scoring pass. That's three Grand Slams in a row for Team Australia. She is going to call up the jam, and she will ice the jammer. It will be a power start in favor of Australia. No points scored for Ireland. 15 for Team Australia, 28-30. Let's have a look at the wonderful sponsors. Cheese balls, the original hand pre skate bearing, available in-house at the Quad Skate Shop booth or online. Power starts for Australia. is going to be number that, seven. That is Gomez jumping for the first time for Australia. Gomez trying to shoulder the way through the pack. Good resistance from the Irish pack here. And this is it. Gomez is lead jammer for Team Australia after roughly 10 seconds of gameplay on that second jam. Good reforming by Team Island Bots. Gomez is taking the outside. Five more points for Team Australia here. Second scoring trip for Gomez. And the power jam is over. Seabin Murphy is out. It's stuck behind a wall of Australians. Even if the power jam is over, you're right. This is still Gomez on the third scoring trip right now. Four more points for Australia. Who seems to advance Australia fair? If I can make it a pun over there. Oh, good defending from Scarlett Love on Sjoban Murphy. And in the meantime, Gomez is still collecting five more points for Team Australia for the moment. It's 14 points for Gomez. Oh, very good defending from number 29 from Team Ireland. Zoe Hayes on Gomez recycling the Australian jammer. Even if uh, uh, she is sent to the penalty box, that was quite a sacrifice. And Gomez on the inside, taking another five for Team Australia. We did have a helmet cover pass to the pivot of Ireland, but to no avail, the zero point scored for Ireland. The, the, this is always this when you have two teams which are different like this. Whenever a team does something positive, even small things, you can have the whole crowd cheering for it. And here we have the jammer out of the pack. As you can see on the replay, thank you for the production here at the World Cup. We're going to have now Giles jamming for Team Australia versus Snowden for Team Island. On that jam number three. 34 for Team Australia. Giles is out of the pack, taking the lead for that jam number three. Three lead jammer position in a row for Team Australia. Yep, Snowden still in the pack, stuck at turn number one. Snowden, oh, we have a new jammer for Team Ireland. No, lead jammer is for Giles, who saw Snowden out of the pack. That was the crowd was raving, and uh, Giles immediately called out that jam. She didn't want to take any risk uh, on that. 38 for Australia. And now we're going to have Rusty Bullets for Team Ireland versus number 3-5 Burn for Team Australia. And look at the penalty box. It's going to be one player down for Team Ireland. So maybe more room for Burn here to maybe take another lead. Good hit by Sofia Kensaneva. And Auburn is stretching the pack. 
Oh, good job by the wall from Ireland. Look at that work, that amazing work, a good assist here. Oh my God, wonderful assist by Danny Darko from Team Australia. And now we have Australia leading that jam. Can you believe, Muffin, that the Irish supporters are still uh, su supporting on the tiniest little thing that seems to be possible on Ireland? Really, they are strong support here. <laughs> That is unbelievable. But we also have five more points for Australia. Vern is still still racking up the points. Meanwhile, Rusty Bullet is still on their initial pass. Good defending, but still number three, five Vern has talent and managed to take on the outside to collect five more points for Team Australia. And once again, she tries on the outside. But here, Ireland remains firm in their defending. Wonderful tripod here for the Greens on Byrne, who seems to be looking for some comfort here for the blockers. She's all left alone in that pack. Beautiful reforming for Team Ireland Wall here and giving a hard time to Byrne, who finds a very small passage on the outside of turn three. Yep, so five more points for Byrne. Rusty Bullet still caught up in the back of the pack. Rusty Bullet trying to take the inside line but being denied again and again. And the jam is still on. And this is it. This is the end of the jam here. Number 74, Sofia Kinsaniva had the helmet cover after his star pass. And she was out of the pack but couldn't get any points. And now it's 15 points for Burn and Australia. Australia is 53 and Team Island is zero. We are having a bit of a replay here, as you can see it. Sarah Chambers is back, and Darling for Timali. Darling, a little change on the, on the score. It's 56 for Australia, zero for Ireland. The penalty box is empty. Darling is a bit ahead, that's why the crowd once again is waving for the Irish supporters. One player down for Ireland. Still no Jana Sarah Chambers is for the moment contained, but Sarah Chambers takes the lead once again for Team Australia. Yep, that's five league jams in a row for Team Australia, and Sarah Chambers working persistently just to get that inside line until she finally got it and made it through. In the meantime, you have Darling still struggling with the very stable Irish uh, Australian pack here, and Sarah Chambers is collecting another five for Team Australia. Darling still stuck on her initial pass. Sarah Chambers already back around again oh. for another scoring pass. Five more points for Sarah Chambers. Skating the way through the pack here. That's where you see uh, great teams is that they don't want to leave the tiniest little crumb uh, to the other team. And this is exactly what Australia does here. And with Sarah Chambers collecting points again, as if they were pearls on the necklace. And for this, Australia. Doing that casual stride of skating through again, those past two passes are just, she made it look so effortless, but there's 10 more points on 20 points so far for Sarah Chambers. It's 7-6 uh, now for Australia. And Sarah Chambers once again finds the hole in the Irish wall to collect another five for Australia. And I believe that Sarah Chambers wants to get the maximum points and once again she is now 30 points in that jam and the crowd is waving. Why is that? Because you had a star pass and number 42 Gemma Harvey managed her way through the pack on this. Sarah Chambers turning around and calling that jam off. Let's see how much two more points in the last scoring pass. It's 32 points for Sarah Chambers. 88 points for Australia. Ireland being held 2-0. Australia is trying to make a point. They do not want to let them score anything today. Giles versus Green Harkuni for the next one. It's first time for Green Harkuni to jam today. This is Giles' second time on the jam line for this game. Green Harkuni hitting the back of the pack. Giles is already at the front of the pack. Ireland doing a good job of holding her at turn number one. The pack is split, almost in maximum capacity, but lead jammer status does go to Giles. Giles, the incumbent WFTA champion here as a jammer, 
is approaching the back end. The crowd once again is shut in because number 23 is out of the back end. Jais saw it, and that's why she decided to call off that jam. Once again, Australia doesn't want to leave the Tanya Little drum to Ireland. This is how we pay respect as a stronger team. You don't want to risk anything, and you don't uh, despise your team by playing hard and realistically. Oh yes, they're showing no mercy here, but yes, 92 points for Australia, zero points for Ireland. Next up, that is Gomez jamming for the second time this game. <laughs> and really. Gomez quickly through the pack for lead jammer status for Australia. I believe this has been the fastest lead jammer position <laughs> on that game so far. Gomez is really showing all the talent the player has here. I'm oh, sorry. Versus yeah. Sobin Murphy is still struggling the pack, and Gomez is turning the beat around on that jam. <laughs> Turn the beat around. Exactly. So now people have it in their mind for ages. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, oh, Gomez, oh, spinning out on one foot, but inbounds, continuing on her way for five more points for Gomez. And in the meantime, Gomez is still turns around on that game. <laughs> yep. I'm going to go on the jam with all musical references. Gomez is having it all and she's having the time of her life, I'm sure, on that jam thing. <laughs> oh, Fred, shut the Fred up. Because <laughs> I will sing. I will sing this yeah, whole game. Yeah, this is what I want to do. Oh, beautiful jump by Gomez here. Once again, collecting five points, showing absolutely no mercy to Ireland here. And Gomez is still having it all. In the meantime, Gemma Harvey, who collected behind the cover for Team Ireland, is still struggling with the Australian wall. Gomez still collects another point. 25, that's 25 points if you're keeping track at home. I've seen Cash Pistas from France scoring 35 points in one single jam. And I think that Gomez is on the same track here. 30 points so far for Gomez, and she still wants it all and wants it now. <laughs> and Gomez on the outside, getting the hits first, and this is it, she calls it. 35 solid points for Gomez here. Absolutely amazing jamming here. 35 points, I believe. It might be, it might be the highest points scored on one single jam on that day. So that's a 127, they have broken the century mark, and we are only 16 minutes into this game. There's and a timeout called by Ireland. Yeah, timeout called by Ireland. And in the meantime, uh, let's have a look at Strong Athletic. And Strong Athletic, we believe that athleticism and strength are so much more than what is seen in the mainstream. What is your Strong Athletic story? Share at strongathletic.com. We also have fifth blocker here, fifth blocker skates, skater owned and operated since 2011. Gallows. And as you can see on the screen, Ireland still having high spirits up. They're just having fun. Smiling at the bench, and there's some of our fans. I really like the way Ireland uh, customized the hammock cover, not having the star and having the shamrock here, just being Irish to the bone, <laughs> as many supporters from Ireland are watching here. They should be proud of the team and even of what uh, Dublin also, part of the team uh, in Team Ireland, accomplished at uh, the playoffs in D2. Uh, this summer, they were seeded 16 and they reached uh, the semi-final here, ending up number four of the playoff D2. It was absolutely amazing games for Dublin. Oh yes, for sure. Oh, next up, Snowden. This is Snowden's second time jamming for this game. And number 35 for Australia Burn. Let's see whether the team timeout for Ireland is going to work. I'm going to see maybe the first lead jammer position for Ireland. The walls of Australia are strong here. Oh, good recycling. And it's no pass, no penalty. No pass, no penalty for Australia. The lead jammer position is still open for Team Ireland. But Byrne is in the scoring trip, the first one of that jam now. The Irish supporters understood it and they're pushing and pushing and pushing the voice to accompany 
the Irish Jammer Snowden here. And this is it! It's the first oh! position for Snowden! This is Ireland's first lead gen of the game. Snowden controlling that game. Now, a jam number eight. But in the meantime, Byrne has already scored five points. Let's see whether Snowden is going to make it or not. And Snowden, the crowd is becoming mad here because you see it on the scoreboard. Ireland may have scored points on that game. Byrne is taking on the outside. Five more points for Team Australia here. Absolutely raving crowd here for Ireland. Snowden is fighting again. This is still on. Good recycling by Danny Darko on Snowden here. And Snowden just, we're still hoping that Snowden gets one point for Ireland. Oh, I believe she passed, she got one point there. We'll see at the end of the jam here. Snowden is being recycled and once again trying to shoulder the way through the back, but Australia appears so strong on that track and that turn one, uh, turn two, sorry. Oh, almost on for Snowden. And this is the end of the jam, and this is it. Ireland open up the scoreboard with having scored three points against Australia. Australia in the meantime scored 14 points on that jam. It's 141 for Australia and three for Ireland. Let's see the replay. And the replay went out. It's going to be the next jam with number 414, Rusty Bullets for Ireland and Giles for Australia. A very early and quick lead jammer position for Australia. Yep, quickly. And Rusty Bullets still in the pack. This is her second time jamming. But Giles is already around the outside for a quick five points for Australia. Giles is scoring five more points for Australia the Irish jammer here Rusty Bullet is almost out of the bag she only has two blockers in front of her in the meantime Giles is in the Irish jungle here but good defending for Ireland nice little offensive help oh but not good enough the pivot will be going to the penalty box for that help it did not work as the jammer is getting recycled all the way to the back that is Rusty Bullet still on her initial pass meanwhile here comes Giles again Oh, good hit by Giles, opening the door uh, out of the pack to score five more points. Giles is approaching the back once more in the fourth scoring trip right now and calls it off. So that looks like, it, I believe it was 19 points. Yes, 19 points on that jam by Giles, taking Australia to 160 points. Ireland holding at zero, oh, three points. Let's thank our sponsor, Double Threads Case, Double Threads Case, expert advice from experienced staff. Head to doublethreadscase.co.uk. Next up, Darling is jamming again for Ireland against Christy Demons. There's only been one jammer penalty in this entire bout, so jammers are playing very clean on 11, both sides. 11 minutes to go. On that game, we've already jammed number 10, and this is it. Sarah Chambers is lead jammer on the jam number 10. As you can see, it's with the referee, Jarlene, entering the scoring trip now. Sarah Chambers through again. That is a grand slam. And we have some penalty trouble for Ireland. Sarah Chambers getting struck, stuck at turn number two, the two wall of Ireland skaters. Now it's a three wall. Sarah's still trying to push through. And she's through, that was a little bit of work, but there's five more points. Another grand slam for Sarah Chambers. We have the ghost uh, right in front, giving information, asking uh, Sarah Chambers to call. This is imma immediately what she does. Good communication also between uh, the ghost bench and the players. Let's have a look at Pivot Star looking for athletic wear to have kickstart the season. Then head over to Pivot Star Star for the extra special World Cup flash sale. Everything you need at prices to suit you. Alternative, athletic, awesome Pivot Star. 
We have Greenhall Cooney jamming again for Ireland, and this is her second time on the jam line against Gomez. For the jam number 11, Gomez tried to take an early lead jam position. This is what she does right now. Gomez is lead jammer on the jam number 11. Oh, good one by number 23, Greenhall Cooney, who took the tiniest little hole on the inside of the track to get out the back, but Gomez saw it and caused that jam off. Yeah, Gomez is not going to give her a chance to get one more point. So it's 174 for Australia, three points for Ireland. You may say uh, that Australian jammers are talented and that is true, but we also have to give a huge shout out to the blockers from Team Australia who are really, really solid on the skates and preventing any attack from uh, Team Ireland, right? This is true. They're doing a great job defensively. I mean, Australia is a machine. They're doing a very good job. Here we are with Giles for Australia and Sjoban Murphy for Ireland. Giles is up front, shoulder in left shoulder, but Giles is sent to the penalty box. It's a power jump situation for Team Ireland. The lead jammer position is still open for the Greens. Sjoban Murphy will try to find the tiny single hole in the pack. Good assist by the blockers from Team Ireland. Only three blockers now in front of Sjoban Murphy trying to get on the outside. Pushing and pushing assist here. Sjoban Murphy on the outside. Almost done by Chewy Leon. Good job at containing Sjoban Murphy. So there's great defense. They're trying to help offensively where the pack was totally split. Giles out and through the pack. But there have only been 11 jams so far and Australia has posted double digits in eight of those jams. So they are just really racking up the points. The thing is that you, know, you had the star pass uh, for, no, you didn't have any star pass, but Sjoban Murphy removed the helmet cover. The lead jammer position was still open, but as she removed the helmet cover, she couldn't take the lead jammer position. That's why this jam is going to last full two minutes here. Oh gosh, and they're working for every point there. Jais has already scored four points on that jam number 12. With seven minutes and 30 seconds to go. Oh, Jais beautifully moved. And the energy she gives at every hit is purely and simply amazing. No wonder she and VRDL won the Hydra this year. She's showing good pace and strong energy here. And Sjoban Murphy also is trying to shoulder the way through the back. But in the meantime, Jais collects points. Sjoban Murphy almost out. But look at it. You always have one last blocker with Dyer Skates. Oh yes, Giles is such a powerful jammer. She just punches her way through time and time again. She did take a little fall over there by um, turn one, but the jam is called. But she did manage to put 17 more points on the scoreboard for Australia. Let's have a look at Royal Derby Elite. Make your mom proud where Royal Derby Elite. Correction, that's 20 point jam for Giles. 194 for Australia, 3 for Team Ireland. And it's a power jump situation as you have Team Australia along on the track and jammer. And Ireland scored three more points. Six now for Ireland. Early lead jammer position for Gomez. And it is a power jam for Australia. Gomez already threw on a first scoring pass. That is five points for Team Australia. Gomez on her second scoring trip right now. Pushing the way through. I believe this is going to be the end of the power jam very soon. You're right. As Sjoban Murphy is back on the track. And in the meantime, you see it on the scoreboard. Australia has overpassed the 200 here. Having scored already 204. And Gomez is doing a great job scoring through the pack every, each time at the apex of the track going right through the middle of all those blockers. Let's see if she can do it again for a fourth pass. Gomez always trying to trick the blockers here, getting on the outside and immediately going back on the inside to find the multiplayer block. And as the door opens to get one more point, uh, so five more points for Australia. This is beautifully executed by Team Australia. Oh yes, indeed. And almost out again. Oh. And she's through. That is another grand slam. She is at 24 points so far this jam. Once again, you can see it on the uh, screen here. 
look at the mobility for Team Australia's walls and the way they reform very quickly, clearly sucking the energy, and energy sorry, out of the Irish jammer. This is once again beautifully executed. He has 24 points total, 218 for Australia, six points for Team Ireland. And what is also quite interesting to notice uh, on that uh, game is that we have four minutes and 18 seconds to go and only 13 jams. That means that the jams may, were made last longer so that Team Australia can score as many points as important for the algorithm and uh, the uh, team that they're going to meet tomorrow. Here we are with a lead jammer position for Sarah Chambers. Sarah Chambers, she had a four jam break, but she's back taking names and lead jammer status. You Ireland jammer is out of the pack though. Yeah, because you have two blockers from Australia in the party box, so more opportunity for uh, Sjöben, was it Snowden or Snowden? Well, I think it was Snowden, to it is Snowden. Uh, get out of the pack. Yes, it was Snowden, number 8-3. So there's Snowden stashing the helmet cover, getting through on the inside. It's <laughs> Rusty Bullet for Team Ireland versus number 3-5 for Team Australia. Burn. And Rusty Bullet seemed to have a connection with the supporters here. She was dancing and dancing around. She was doing a little Irish jig there. I like her style. But Burn burns through, doing some high knees through for lead general status for Team Australia. Rusty Bullet caught up at turn number one, the very back of the pack. Burn's going to try and sneak through on the inside, maybe. Well, on the, taking the outside, getting stuck between turns two and one and two. Seen some great defense by Ireland. Look at that reset, that was really oh. good. She did manage to get through, that's five points, but she did have to work for those. Once again, the, ener the energy that is displayed by the jammer is pretty amazing for Team Australia. And here we have number seven for Sofia Kansaniba, who took the helmet cover, and she is out of the pack. And getting denied any chance to get any points as Byrne calls off the jam. So we are at 231 for Australia. We are at six points for Team Ireland. 10 seconds on the, the game clock. And we have two minutes for this next jam that's already started to tick down. But we have Giles back on the jam line for Australia. And number 333, that is darling, darling, jamming for Ireland. And look at the clock, it is likely to be the, uh, the last jam of the game. And don't forget that at the end of that game, you will have the studio wrap-up of that first day. So stay tuned here on the broadcast to have a little bit of the matchup uh, for uh, that first day of that roller derby World Cup. It will be kind of like a sports center, but for the roller, roller derby World Cup. Or match of the day for the British, uh, <laughs> the British viewers. And so jammers again, very clean this game. Jammers. General penalties, we had one for Australia and only two for Ireland. That's really, really a clean game played by both jammers for both teams. A very penalty free, free bout. And it really went by really fast. I can't believe it's already almost over. Yep, it is. But you have Giants here on that jump number 16 for Team Australia versus yeah. Darling. Giants is ahead, stretching the pack, not allowing the blockers to defend and Possibly Giles takes the lead jammer position. She does, and the, the pack was really stretched out to maximum capacity, but she did work her way through it. Oh. I believe that's going to be a low block awarded to uh, the blocker from Team Allen, the pivot even. This is it, and Giles is taking the inside to take another five for Team Australia. And Darling still stuck in the pack. And Jais is awaiting for the instructions for uh, the bench here. Raising the arms. Letting for the moment, Darling, trying to get out of it. And she ran the clock down, calling that jam off. This is the end 
of that game with that unofficial score here of 2-3-8 for Team Australia and 6 for Team Ireland. 6 for Ireland. That was really, really, Ireland really played with a lot of heart. And I think they did great. They never gave up till the very end. And it was it was so great also to have all the supporters here down in Manchester. Clearly, overall on the day, the atmosphere was absolutely superb. And another statistic which is quite interesting is that Australia scored on every channel. They did. And the double digits were probably in most of those jams. Don't forget that just after that game, in a few seconds, we have the studio wrap-up of the first day. Stay tuned for a kind of a summary of this first day of the Roller Derby Day at World Cup 2018. And of those 16 jams, Ireland only scored in two of those jams. I was sort of fed up for that game. What? I was sort of fed up for that game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> One more time. And she was a uh, muffin <laughs> drum for that game. <laughs> right. I'm Here sorry. we are. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.